Hello everyone, I am making a video today on how to fix your front loader washer when the drain is clogged. Okay, let me show you what I got going on here. Uh, the pump is actively working because you can hear it, but it's not draining all the water. So I'm going to open it up and we're going to see what we got going on here and see if I could fix it myself instead of paying 500 to 600 dollars. Okay, step number one is going to be to unplug your washer. Okay, step number two is going to be to remove two screws that we have all the way, all the way on the back of the washer here. There's one of them. Okay. Okay, next step is gonna to be to pull this out. Got a nice little push button right here. Okay, next is gonna to be to unscrew two screws. Got one on the left here and then one over here on the right. Okay, next step is gonna to be to unscrew the screw that we got down here on the left side. Clips all the way that runs along the top. And just like that. Okay, we are gonna There we go. This rubber piece off here. Okay, we've got a rubber hose at the top here. Fold it in here. Okay, next step is to remove these three screws at the very top. One, two, and where's the third one here? Okay, actually those were able to pull straight out. Okay, the easiest way to remove the front end here, because um, it's all connected, is to remove this connection here. And it's real simple. You just have to grab on the two side ends here, squeeze, pull a little bit, and there you go. Disconnect it so we can remove the front end. Okay, so we're gonna have to remove four screws on the bottom side. Okay. Let's see, I'm trying to get in here. Okay, we got one, two, three, there in the middle, and four is just gonna be this screw right here. Not this one, this one's for the pedestal. Okay, so I have removed all screws from the front, disconnected it, now we're gonna take it off. Okay, removing this front panel lets you actually go in here and we could take a look at everything we got going on here. So what the main problem is, since it's not draining, it has to do something with this pump here. See that, that's the pump. And we have the coin catcher right here. So we're gonna actually remove this and see what we got going on. We're gonna try to clean it out. Okay, so now we're gonna get into it and go ahead and remove the pump. To remove the pump, we just have to 
pull you have to uh, squeeze these two together and uh, it's gonna go ahead and pop off um, if you can't pop it off yourself or squeeze it yourself you get one of these puppies right here to help you out so we're gonna have to um, go ahead and uh, undo this one right here and then if you look all the way in there okay there's gonna be over here there's gonna be another one of those puppies so we're gonna have to undo that one and this one and that pump should come out we should be able to see what kind of gunk or junk is up in there and uh, go ahead and clean it out okay here we go I decided to put a bag under that way um, when the water comes down I'm able to catch it on the in the inside the bag opposed to getting all on the bottom of the washer and there's a bunch of wires and stuff like that I know I'm in the garage but it's better to catch all your water that way you get rid of it and I got one of these puppies to help me out to take these uh green clips off here we go Okay. Here we go, all the water's coming out of the pump right now, so I'm gonna wait till it drains, and then we're gonna take the pump out and uh, take a look at it. Okay, so I just removed this off and uh, all the water, I was able to catch most of the water in the bag. Uh, be prepared because it smells like sewage water, so uh, just be ready for that. You can see all the gunk built up right there. We're gonna clean that in a second. Okay, this is gonna be the tough part because the screw is facing the back part of the washer. So I'm gonna try to get in there, unscrew this, and that way I could uh, take the pump off. So now this piece just removes like so. And we have to remove the other green clip that's at the top there. Okay, here we go. So this last green piece was a doozy to take off because it's all the way in the back there. Um, good luck trying to get that out. Um, I needed help. Um, put some tweezers onto the green thing. And I had uh, my wife go ahead and help me pull the tube down. So that's how we did it, double team. Now look what is in there. All that gunk is preventing water flow. Okay, that's why the drain is clogged. I'm going to clean it out and we're going to find out what we got in there. Hopefully nothing embarrassing. Okay, here we go. I'm now outside. Got my pump right here. And I got everything I took out of it. Um, nothing crazy. A couple coins. Um, looks like it ripped up some clothes and it got some strings, a rubber band. But I'm just going to ho finish hosing all this stuff off. And I'm uh, going to put it back together now. Okay, now I'm starting to put this back together. I know these clamps are going to be tough, but uh, I'm going to somehow manage. The only difference of me putting it back together the way it was is I'm going to have the screw facing towards the front. That way, just in case I have to do this in the future, I'm going to be able to unscrew it better. Other than that, it's just going to go back in the same way we took it out. Okay, so after trying to put, uh, put these green clamps on, um, I found out that it was very, very difficult, so I had to go out to uh, Home Depot and I bought these uh, locking pliers and it's a lot easier with these locking pliers because they, they go ahead and lock and then that way you could use both hands to um, get the pump all the way on there. That way you could lock it in. And just like that, back to normal.